Hello everyone. So in this session we will learn how to create a knowledge base using a prolog. So first of all we have to install a prolog in our machine. You can install a prolog using a website http www.swi-prolog.org Prolog is freely available. You can download it and you can install it on your machine. So basically this environment is a prolog editor where we can write the queries. Anything you write after this question mark will be the query. Now the query will be returned on the basis of the knowledge base. So prolog has one knowledge base. Based on the information available in the knowledge base, the prolog, the prolog tries to return the answer for your query. To create a knowledge base, we have to go to the menu file. Then if you are going to create a new knowledge base, go to new. If you want to edit your existing knowledge base, you will use edit. So in the new, you give the name to your knowledge base let's say the name i have given is demo and one thing you have to keep in mind the extension for your knowledge base is .pl so demo.pl is the knowledge base which we are going to create and i am storing i am uh, saving this on my desktop so once you click on this you will get a other screen so this screen is basically the area where you will be writing your knowledge base facts so we have two screen one is for the writing the queries and one is for the creating a knowledge base and if you see here it is showing here demo.pl it is the name of the knowledge base which we are presently using so let's say i have will add some facts into this knowledge base let's say the first fact is boy ahmed You have to keep in mind that we always write the fact starting with a lower case letter and the fact will always terminate it by a dot full stop and if your fact is correct then this property will be shown in the red color similarly you can add more facts let's say i will add the other fact is father Rashid Ahmed. So now I have added two facts in my knowledge base. So before moving to your editor to fire some queries, first of all you have to save your knowledge base by click on save buffer. Then we go to this area. Now to fire any query First, you have to consult that which knowledge base you want to refer to get the answer. Because this time you have created one knowledge base, but it may be possible you may be having hundreds of knowledge base. So you have to tell to the prolog you are asking the query in context of which knowledge base. So you have to consult. So to consult the knowledge base, you have to go to file, and here we use this sub menu consult. When you click on consult, it will show you the uh, browser window where you can select the knowledge base which you want to refer. So this is on my desktop. We have this demo.pl. I select this. So you will see some message it is showing here. It will be loading and connecting the knowledge base by showing this blinking sign. Once it is connected, it will show you the this uh, question mark sign so now you can write some queries here you can write here boy Ahmed full stop and enter so if you see 
that Ahmed is a boy. The prologue consulted from the knowledge base and it will find that the fact is there and it returns true. Now, for example, if you fire other query, boy Marzin. Now, this information is not available in the knowledge base, so the prologue will return false. Similarly, if you want to inquire from the prologue that who is the father of Ahmad, you can write this query like this father, and then you have to write one variable which is representing the father. And keep in mind the variable we always represent in the upper case. So here actually we are looking who is the father of Ahmad and when you enter the query it will return Rashid. Also you can repeat the query by using the up, down, up arrow or down arrow. Now suppose if I want to repeat the query again I can use the up, up arrow so it will show me the, the queries which I have used so far. It will show me the queries which I have used so far. So let's say if I write the other query, for example, I want to find out that Rashid is the father of whom. So I will write here father Rashid and here I will use one variable sign let's say y you will get that Rashid is the father of Ahmad now so if, if you see here we have only two facts in our knowledge base now we will add some more rules or facts in our knowledge base and we'll try some more complex queries and see how it behaves so now we'll add more rules or more facts to our knowledge base to generate some more queries so here we have certain uh, facts and rules what i will do is i will simply add these facts to our knowledge base now creating a knowledge base you can use a prologue editor for creating a knowledge base or also you can use a notepad both the options are open but while firing a query you have to simply consult your knowledge base file so what i am doing is i am simply adding these uh, facts and rules to our existing demo.pl knowledge base So here we have seen now we have our knowledge base which contains some more facts. Now before moving to the query we have to save it and then we go to the editor to fire some queries. Before firing the queries don't forget to consult it. So every time when you want to write some query you want to fire some query you have to consult your knowledge base. So I'll go to file, go to consult, and then I will find the knowledge base which I want to refer. So the knowledge base which I'm referring is demo.pl. I select this and click on open. So if you see when, when I click uh, on the open, it will showing some warning. Clause of read book are not together in the source file. So actually if you look into this knowledge base, we have one clause read a book here and one clause read a book here. So it's always better you have to write a similar closet together. So what I do is I will simply write this clause together so that read a book clause will now appear together and author clause is appearing together. So again I will save this, go back to your editor, consult your demo knowledge base. Now here you will find that there is no warnings, no error. 
and when you consult your knowledge base it will also show, show that you are using the demo.pl knowledge base for this query so let's say i will write a query who reads a book who reads a book so i will write reads a book and because the my query is who so i will be using one variable let's say x so it, it says sayed reads a book maybe there may be more names available so you can put a semicolon mark semicolon marks will show who are the other person who is reading a book it shows that khalid also reads a book now how this khalid reads a book is coming as an answer if you look into the knowledge base we don't have a direct answer for khalid if you look at into this we have one fact that sayed reads a book but we don't have the information that khalid also reads a book then how this prolog infer this information this is based on the simple rule of transitivity if a is b and if b is c then a is c and as we discussed in the previous session that in the rule we have two parts head and the body and if the body is true we assume that head is also true so if you look at this query read a book x and it is returning khalid that says the khalid is also reading a book how this comes now we'll see this it is given here happy khalid we have we have one uh, rule khalid reads a book if khalid is happy and the fact given to us is khalid is happy so that means if the right hand side is true this left hand side will will always be a true so khalid reads a book is a new fact that the prolog has generated out of the given information now let us fire an, another query For example author khalid that means i want to inquire that is khalid an author so let us see the answer what is the answer it says true again this is this fact is actually inferred based on the existing information how this information is coming let us check if you look at this author khalid employees khalid reads a book now we have already seen that this knowledge base has already generated one fact that khalid reads a book that means this is true and if the body is true then head is also a true so we getting the answer true so knowledge base is something which has the capability to infer more fact based on the existing information so thank you very much and in the next session we will see more about prolog and how to write the complex queries thank you